If you know me, you know how every time I see one of these anywhere, I have a meltdown. Okay. I start to cry. I just, I'm trying to avoid any sort of contact with my eyes with this thing, but it's so bright and yellow. <laughs> YOLO SWAGMASTER42097 I'm going to devour you! I'm gonna make sure your ashes go to the ground, cool down a little bit, so then I can stomp on them and know that I did something right for myself! You burned down my wooden house, it took me five hours to build. I'm gonna go straight towards you and burn you down within five seconds. Why the father fucking fuck? <laughs> I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. I didn't know that the moon and the sun were the same distance from the earth. Really, nigga? I thought the sun was closer. I used to think the reason people wouldn't go on the sun, though, was because the media portrayed the sun as some evil fireball. But it was really just as nice as the moon. So a lot of my British viewers are telling me to teach them some Americanish. What? Um, I will teach you Americanish. Um, this will be really easy. Chip, chip, tootly do. Um, that usually means come on, hurry up. Quit your chin wagon. So, chin wagon means like your your chin has kind of like a goatee. Quit your chin wagon! It's toop toop doodly doing me! You wanna get some tea and crumpets? That usually means like you wanna go out for lunch or something. Governor! <laughs> While I was eating my hamburger today, um. I was starting to feel very sick. I realized I am a vegetarian. So if you don't know what a vegetarian means, it means that you are allergic to meat. Um. Did you know that there are over five languages in this world? We don't need all these languages, people. British language, or Canadian language, or Hawaiian language, or Alaskan language. We need just American, okay? Just American language. Nothing more, nothing less, just American. You wanna know why? Because the letters are pretty. There's just a lot of fonts. You can't get that with no Canadian language with the little ching chang chong. Okay, Donald Trump. I'm not gonna be mad at you for what you stand for. I'm just gonna be mad at you because you don't know that I exist. I love you, okay, Donald Trump? You are the man of my dreams. Not because, not because you have looks for days and you're the hottest guy in America, in my opinion. Why life? Uh? Or because you have money, or anything of that. It's because you're just great. You're you're great to me. You're great overall. Why life? Uh? You're a great person, except you don't know I exist. So so how do I know? That you are great for me. I want you to go to prom with me. <laughs> hey everyone, so I was chatting on AM AIM with this guy. Supposedly he was from England and I speak fluent American, so there's a bit of a language barrier, but he knew really good English. Why don't you get it? And he's like, because it's too much. I'm like, well, how much is it? He's like, it's 15 pounds. So apparently there's a bit of a language barrier there because I asked him how much it costs, not how much it weighs. I went outside for the first time and then 
the rain, usually I plug my nose or get a smoke. Why the father fucking fuck? this time, I never saw anyone else do it. I didn't drown, no. Okay. But I could have. I'm sick of everyone going up to me in my face and yelling, John Cena! I don't, I, I don't, I didn't know who John Cena was, but I, I searched him up, and apparently he's some kind of wrestler dude. Oh, you think you're tough. I'll have you know that I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs. Why lying for? And I was involved in numerous raids on Al-Qaeda. So, you think you're tough for just being some guy showing off his muscles and flexing everywhere and pounding some guys into the ground? Honey, learn what real fear is.